Well, let's now look at a timeline that has led to this sequence of events. In March of 2013, a rebel movement called the Seleka Rebels toppled President Francois Bozize and its leader, Michel Jotodia, proclaimed himself the president. Following the coup, sub-regional group, the Economic Community of Central African States, established a roadmap for an 18-month peaceful transition to presidential and legislative elections. A new government of national unity was nominated and a national transitional council has since served as the legislative branch. However, the situation in the country became uncontrollable with intra seleka fighting. There was also a surge in violent action by unidentified armed groups and rising tension between the country's Muslim and Christian communities. In July of this year, the African Union Peace and Security Council authorized the deployment of the African-led international support mission to address the situation for an initial period of six months. And in October, the UN Security Council approved the deployment of a UN peacekeeping force. It would support African Union troops already on the ground and French troops controlling the airport. And still in October, French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius, who visited the CAR, announced that his country would send additional troops. In November, France warned that the Central African Republic was on the verge of a genocide. The United Nations Deputy Secretary General Jan Eliasson called on the Security Council to consider the deployment of a UN peacekeeping force to that country.